The prairie badlands of Montana's High Line have their own stark beauty, but to the trained eye, a small layer of some of these formations reveals a hidden, rich, prehistoric treasure. Um, but there's there's a myriad of different fossil types and a, and a depth of history up here that's pretty interesting. A misidentified fossil prompted researchers to first visit the area in 2016. This led to exciting discoveries of dinosaur bones the following year. One of them had two feet of uh, a tyrannosaur sticking out of the cliff. You could see the ankle and the, 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 the metatarsals of one foot, and then next to it you could see the metatarsals of the other foot. So we were really excited at that site, and we applied for a permit and came back in 2018 and dug this great big hole. And there is this tyrannosaur curled up in what we call an epistatonic posture with the tail arched back over the head and the neck. But removal and transport presented a real problem in this remote roadless area. A heavy lift Chinook helicopter, once used by the military and now more regularly used for firefighting, was enlisted. It was used to haul the one large specimen and several somewhat smaller loads out of the area to a waiting trailer for transport to the Badlands Dinosaur Museum. After research and painstaking removal from the hard rock encasing the bones, the Tyrannosaur will be placed on public display in the federally certified repository. You know, most people think of the BLM operating with oil and gas or with livestock permitting, but we do a lot of other things, one of which is education and, and interpretation of paleontological resources and cultural resources. The presence of many other and varied dinosaur species in this ancient river delta means the area will see additional field work in subsequent years.